first week, Gotcha was kind of a mixed bag for me. Yeah. Uh, it has its highs, it has its lows, and it has its really weird story writing. Yeah, I'll talk more about it in this video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, to everyone, Kochi Kochi Kate in the house here. Yeah. And welcome to the Toko Cats channel. We'll talk about Kamen Rider, Super Saiyan, Ultraman, and all those stuff here. Yeah. Okay, so today, uh, Gotcha episode 34. It was honestly a very mixed bag here. Yeah. Coming off a very, very hype episode last week, uh, it kind of like set quite a bit of expectations, if you ask me here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least for me here, yeah, I was expecting quite a bit of expectations here. Yeah. Uh, but in the end, it kind of felt like... Meh? Okay, some parts kind of felt like meh, yeah, like... Mm. Honestly, Legendary Gotcha was... Uh, I mean, Legendary Legend! <laughs> if Imagine Gotcha being all bling. Anyways, yeah, Legendary Legend was a little... um Disappointing. The suit wasn't really able to move properly, yeah, and I felt that... It just didn't feel as energetic as last week, yeah. Like the fights this week feel very dumb down, okay, yeah. And Kaguya's school interactions are kind of there's no head, there's no tail to it, yeah. Like it, it just starts off and it just it's like they just insert things, but it doesn't really end, doesn't really lead to anything, yeah. It didn't lead from anything, yeah. It just felt like okay, we're just gonna put it in here just because. I need to give Kaguya sama some stupid gorgeous time here. Yeah. Okay, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong here. Yeah. I, I like that, you know. His personality is there and on here. Yeah. It's just that it, it feels really forced then. It, it felt like they could have done a lot more with it yeah. mm -hmm. And honestly, at a certain point, it's like, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Like, oh, uh, when he has his fan club of gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, you know, it just feels like. So what does that lead to near? Yeah? Like. I have fans chain him wherever he go. No, it's only just for that moment. Yeah. Everything just feels like it's just for that moment. It's gonna be cool because he has fans then yeah. he's gonna be cool because this happens, that happens, yeah. There wasn't really any um, There wasn't really anything that stuck really well. Okay, yeah. And um in the 100, I kind of like how they are like leaking more and more information on 100 by giving you no information at the same time, yeah. Though I kind of find it a bit weird that at this stage you're using like ARC, like the ARC driver, yeah, and then next week we are expecting the um, Kamen Rider 03, yes, yeah. It, it's like... Why, why do you just ARC so close to one another? Are they like tied in with the outsiders? Was the 100 linked to the outsiders, yeah? I honestly have no idea, but that is definitely gives me, in terms of like, you know, him using Decade's form. It was okay, it was okay, yeah. I kind of like that, you know, he came out with complete Decade, yeah. And then he summoned the liner. It was actually really interesting for that part, yeah. But, uh, Genius was kind of a letdown. Zero Two's fight, like, you know, Zero Two versus Arc One, that fight was good, yeah. Mm. Oh, Daryl's fight. Okay, it was okay, yeah. I kind of like the finisher where it's like, you know, a Fice, Kuga, and, uh, you know, Fire Gotcha combined finisher. That was actually really cool, to be honest, yeah. Mm. Like, this week was weirdly entertaining, but at the same time, it, it kind of leaves you wanting for more. I like last week's episode, you just feel like, ah, you had a very good week of Gotcha, yeah. This week, it just feels like, that's it. I don't know, I don't know. Like, in terms of story beats, it wasn't really done, yeah. In terms of the fighting portion, it was also not really done, yeah. So, I, I'm, I mean, it's, I wouldn't call it mid episode, yeah. There were good parts, there were bad parts, yeah, but it was, it was just a very weird episode, okay? So, at least that's what I think about this because it's just a bit all over the place, yeah. As for next week, yes, yeah. Alright, next week, uh, Kaguya is going to fight Hotaro. It's going to be a little weird here and there, yeah. I think it's, uh, you know, Kaguya want to take, take on the burden of Ark 1 on himself, yeah. And, yeah, at least that's what I think the story will be. Yeah, probably going to face the Ark 1 Malgam. 
Uh, that should be what we are going to be expecting, at least based on the preview pictures here. And also in the preview image, yes, we see like, you know, all the ZOs. <laughs> Alright, ZO spam. I think the ZO spam looks really good here. I think all three ZOs there is going to chef kiss here. But at the same time, uh, I hope next week's episode would be a bit better. I hope it wouldn't be like, you know, this week's kind of like, a mixed back of an episode, yeah. Mm -mm. Anyway, but that's why I'm looking for the next week. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, but, yeah. One thing that really got to me is... Legendary Legend couldn't move. I can tell he can't fight in that suit, yeah. He can't fight. He can just, like, do poses and spin around. He really can't fight in that suit, yeah, so... I mean, no, uh, do you feel that as well, yeah? Or is it just me? Uh, what are your thoughts on this episode? Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah.